Hey guys, it's me Undav Saraswat. Welcome to another video of my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about JXB library. So till now, we have seen how Jackson works and what are the Jackson annotations. So similarly, like J Jackson is for handling JSON data, JXB is there for handling XML data. So today we will be looking into JXB library, what annotation it provides and what is marshalling and marshalling. We will be covering all those things today. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so an introduction about JXB, what it does and what it is. So JXB is a API which helps us convert Java objects into XML and XML into Java objects. So converting Java object into XML is called marshalling and the vice versa unmarshalling is called XML into Java objects. So similarly in the diagram we can see Java objects are converted to using JXB are converted to XML. So this is called Java objects to XML is called marshalling and XML to Java object is called unmarshalling. So these two things are important when we are talking about JXB because we uh, during our use cases we will be required to use marshalling and unmarshalling. Okay, that is clear. So moving on to coming to marshalling, which as we discussed, which is converting Java objects to XML. So this JXB library is having a main class which is called JXB context, and using this context, we have to create an instance of that particular class which we will be going to handle using XML data. So that we do, and then we have to create a marshaller, and using that marshaller, we will be marshalling that particular XML file. Okay, that can be a file, or we can also do it from string. I will show you how we can do it from string. So this is about marshalling and the next one is unmarshalling, converting XML to Java object and in that also we have that uh, JXB context object and using that we will be creating an unmarshaller and we will be getting that XML data into a Java object. Okay, so we will be doing that in a practical as well but let's, con let's uh, complete the theory first. And there are some JXB annotations like we had Jackson annotations. Similarly, for those mapping work, we are having JXB annotations such as we have at that XML root element. Okay, so at that XML root element, this is in the name attribute, we have to define the name of that particular root element. So this will be doing wrapping and then main root element will be named as book. And second is at that XML type property order. So this is for defining the order of the properties. Like first should be ID, then name, then date. XML attribute is defining the attribute for XML. We will see what attribute and element are and what is the difference between them in the practical session. Okay, so that is there and at the rate XML element is for defining XML elements. So attribute are defined inside the tag and elements are a separate element in XML. So we will be looking into that and at the rate XML transient if we want to ignore an, uh, ignore an attribute while marshalling and unmarshalling so we will be using at that xml transient so that will be ignored and that value will not be persisted at that xml java type ad adapter so in case we are having a we want to define a custom marshalling and unmarshalling for a particular thing such as for example date so we have to create a separate adapter and we have to we have to create an adapter in which we have to implement xml adapter class and then we have to implement uh, implement that and then we have to provide this particular annotation for that attribute okay guys so i think all the theory is clear till now let us get started with the practical session so let's open sts and in this we are going to create one class called book okay and in this we are going to have three attributes private string ID and then private string name and private string date private date date sorry okay java tutor okay let us have get us and set us for this Okay. okay we are done now we have to start with the annotations we have to annotate, annotate this class so that when jxb is looking to convert create an instance of this class it knows that this id is attribute or what it is so let's get started with that so first one is at the xml root element okay so this one is a class level annotation and this has to come over here so what it defines 
here is okay okay so that uh, depend so why it is not giving me option to import this particular annotations because we have forgot to add that particular dependency in our pom.xml so let's do that first let's go to pom.xml and then let's go to okay then we will type jxb to maven plugin and we will go to maven repository this one let's select the latest version let's copy the dependency details and then go to our project paste it in the dependency then save it go to maven update project force update snapshot release okay okay let's now try to import this annotation and we should be able to do it now yes we are able to get it from xml bind annotation okay that's fine now this what this annotation tells is that now uh, this particular xml will start with the uh, root tag which will be book so uh, let's see how in xml it will look like okay so this will be our xml and okay so this xml this root element tells that this book will be a root element it will be at the root and inside this particular book element we will be having other attributes okay so this is the first annotation now coming back to second annotation at that xml type this is going to tell uh, jxb what will be the property order let us import that so it is telling that id name and date so this is will be the property order for our xml file okay so that's done then xml attribute so uh, like this id is denoted as an attribute so book space id is equals to one this is called attribute in xml and then what is called element element is this this title is a separate element in an, in this xml okay so in the setters we will be using those annotations xml attribute this id is an attribute so we are doing that okay the other one is at the rate xml element so our name is an xml attribute we will be using these annotations on the setter methods and our date is a also an element so So this at that XML element annotation is having a tag called name. So in that we have to define title. So in our Java Pojo object, we have defined this particular thing as a name. But when we are converting or marshaling that to a XML string or file, we want to denote it as a title. We want to change its name. So this is how we can do it. In the name, we are giving title. So even through even in a Java object, it is name. But in the XML, it will come like title. Okay, so that is the use of that. And we are having ex at the rate XML transient. So let us have one more string. Cost and it will be transient. So during marshalling and marshalling, this particular value will not be used. This we are going to cover later. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let, let us start with uh, marshalling this particular class. So we will be doing, first we will be doing marshalling, Java object to XML. Okay, so what we need to do, we are having a Java object and we want to convert that to an XML. So that is the requirement. So for that we will first have a try catch block okay inside that let us have that main class that jxb provides jxb context okay jxb context dot create instance 
new instance and inside this we have to give that particular class name which is book dot class okay we are done with that now the second thing we have to give is we have to create a marshaller okay so it provides us an object of marshaller as well this one we give that let's say marshaller context dot create marshaller so what it will do it will create a marshaller object which will help us convert that particular java object to xml object now create a let us create that java object book is one and book dot set name as book one and book dot set date as new date okay what so what this will do this will uh, give the current system date set uh, set the date as current system date okay guys so using this marshaller object we can directly give a file so uh, marshaller dot marshall and we can here give the book object and then the new file here new file and the file location like that we can do but we are going to do that with a string so we will be using marshaller but with a string writer so when we want to use string so we will have to use string writer if we want to marshal that to string all right string writer is a java dot iu provides this so let's say writer is equals to new string writer okay and in the marshal we will be giving book as the first argument and this writer as the second argument and then what our result will be I, we want a result as a string so string result and that result will will be writer dot to string so what this will do this particular marshal will convert this book in a uh, book object into a xml object and will write it to a writer this particular writer and then we are converting that to two string so that we can uh, get the result out of that so let's print that okay guys so let's copy this and get a new notepad and then paste it and plugins xml tools and format xml pretty print language let's select languages xml so this is the xml string it printed into the console so it is having book and id as one title as book one and date is the current system time date okay so that is working fine let us now see the case of unmarshalling okay so Unmarshaling is converting that XML string to Java object. So we will be now having a XML string and we will be converting that to Java object. Okay. So let's use this string only. Copy this and let's create a string XML string is equals to this particular string. Okay. And let's change the values. Let's the ID be 200. Book name is book 5 and then let date be the same okay so that's fine now we want to we will be having a try block again try and catch block let us not handle exceptions for now we just want to learn the concept and we will be again having a jxb context which we have to create so jxb context we have to create almost all the time because this is the main class which will be giving us options to do that and now we will be creating an unmarshaller so in this case we created a marshaller when we were doing marshaling and when we are doing unmarshaling we will have to create an unmarshaller so unmarshaller this one we have to use let us give it a name as unmarshaller 
is to context dot create and marshaler okay so our marshaler is ready and using this unmarshaler we will be going to unmarshal that particular string dot unmarshal so we can give the file here itself new file like that we can do and the file location inside this but as we are going to dot like say book dot xml but uh, we will be doing that with the string so this is how we can do it with with a file so let's remove it for now and to do it with a string we need to have one more object over here that will be string reader so string reader it will be it is provided by java input output library itself okay so reader is equals to new string reader and we have to give our xml string to this particular string reader okay and then we have to do unmarshal unmarshaler dot unmarshal and inside this we will be giving this reader and this particular method should give us the object of book as a return type so we want to get that reference so i will do book book unmarshal is equals to unmarshaler dot unmarshal so we have to typecast that that's why we are getting error so let's typecast it and that's done now let's see let's print the values let's see if it is getting really getting unmarshaled or not so let's do that plus the first value dot get id plus uh slash hyphen in between then plus get name plus hyphen in between plus dot get date okay i think that's fine okay okay guys so let's save it and try to run it and see if it works fine or not okay guys so this is the output we are getting and 200 is the value we are having in the xml string book 5 that is correct and this is the date yeah yeah so unmarshaling is also working fine so that's it guys we have completed marshaling and unmarshaling so okay guys so just to give a recap of what we did we created a book object in which we added xml based annotations such as xml root element xml type and we added at three attributes id name date xml transient we used and at that xml attribute we have used at that xml element these are annotations we used then in our main method we uh, did two things we first did marshaling in which we converted from a java object to xml we created a book object added some details to that and then using marshal we created a xml string using that and in the unmarshaling we converted we created an xml we created a string reader for that and then using that we created a java, java object okay guys that's it for this video and try it by yourself and see if you are able to do it let me know if you are able to do it or not comment down in the comment section if you are facing any issues we will look into that so till then guys see you in the next session bye bye